All right, GM friends, happy Friday. Thanks a lot for, you know, taking a precious time to join us again this week. It's always amazing to be able to hang out with our fellow monkeys every Friday. And this week is no different. And uh, I want to show you some of our execs are actually just hiding in the audience. Uh, and it's probably not just on just mouse and myself. I know Norm is running a little bit behind time. Uh, but, you know, we do have a fair bit of items lined up to keep us updated. Uh, and this is definitely not my birthday. Uh, somehow this, you know, birthday little trick never ever gets old. Uh, every single Friday we seem to be celebrating someone's uh, birthday. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm just going to ride with it. So thanks again for, you know, taking out your precious Friday to come and join us. We really appreciate it. And let's uh, kick off today's town hall with our usual uh, newsletter and this newsletter apparently is also on its uh, 92nd edition and this is featuring yet another amazing monkey hangout uh, Ricky and a couple of amazing folks uh, got together um, I believe uh, this was also shared on X <laughs> Birthday trick never gets old, just like Jeremy on all his birthdays. Uh, good try, Tausi. And uh, I'm not sure why Parallel still has his uh, green tag. If somebody can enlighten me, that would be super helpful. Uh, apparently, he must have mastered some trick to, you know, get Simon to assign him his green tag again. But uh, he is definitely not a new monkey. <laughs> All right, so trying to not get distracted on the, you know, Town Hall text chat thread. But if you guys are wondering on how you can sit through the entire hour of uh, Monkey Town Hall, uh, please be assured that the Town Hall text chat thread is probably the go-to place where, you know, you can keep yourself entertained. And uh, yeah, no worries at all, English. <laughs> Let me see. Are you guys actually hearing me well or is my mic not working? I'm not playing the trick again from uh, Unjust Mouse last week. So, you know, I will mute him if he tries to say something. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. Happy birthday. Happy birthday indeed. All right. Let's see. Uh, okay. So let's go back to the Town Hall uh, newsletter. I want to quickly also mention that, uh, you know, if you guys do not want to see through the hour of uh, hour long of recording, uh, there's also the Town Hall TLDR where you can just jump onto, jump into the Monkey Out Discord, use the command exclamation mark Town Hall TLDR, and you'll get everything that you need to know related to the most recent week's update uh you know all in point form very quickly now of course if you you know find yourself having an extra hour of time and you want to wake up to you know some amazing uh you know audio run through uh there's also the option of uh clicking through the recording and just you know listening through them every week our town hall's uh recording is also made live available a uh, big shout out to our entire town hall team uh, for, you know, being able to help coordinate the infrastructure behind it, as well as, you know, sending it up for upload ASAP. Usually it is also up ready for you to, you know, go and uh, access it within probably around 24 hours, I would say, uh, after the town hall has concluded. All right. So that is the town hall TLDR on our weekly newsletter. And if you guys are interested to find out more in point form, that is the go-to place. Otherwise, use the exclamation mark town hall TLDR. Now, moving onward to the uh, monkey down vote section. Uh, this is also a quick reminder to everyone uh, to share with you a little bit on the latest votes that are live at the moment. Uh, I believe we'll run through them as well later. Um, but there are definitely a couple of votes available and some of them has been uh, slightly more exciting uh, for a lot of our folks and uh, from the engagement on what some of us uh, now know as uh, X or tw Twitter, um, the some of this proposal or one specific uh, one is especially has uh, apparently is yeah, I believe that is reaching quorum very quickly. Uh, so, you know, it is something that I think a lot of folks are wa uh, watching very closely and are pretty excited about. We'll elaborate more later as we go there. Uh, Monkey Combs, uh, very quickly mentioning as well some of the events that uh, took place. 
Uh, of course, I think the Hong Kong Solana Hacker House just concluded. I know uh, our amazing Norm uh, was there himself and uh, he was able to hang out with some of our fellow monkeys and I'm sure he will be able to, be able to come up and share with us a little bit of uh, his experience at the Hong Kong Hacker House uh, later on. Uh, but, you know, I hope, you know, you guys who, especially for folks who managed to make it there, uh, you guys had a great time as well. All right. Uh, that's also the Monday Monkey Spotlight. This is a platform that we try to uh, sort of retain for our fellow monkey builders to share with us the latest uh, updates around their projects or some of the latest things that they're working on, what they are most excited about. Uh, so that is the platform you can use. And if you're interested, uh, there's also the link included there. Uh, needless to say, uh, monkey music. Oh, and this reminded me, the music is... Uh, Oh, well, English, I am very confident I'm not using my keyboard this week or I'm actually not using my keyboard yet. All right. And uh, yes, uh, this actually reminded me this week's, uh, you know, DJ, our usual town hall DJ, KD77 is uh, actually not uh, around this week. So, you know, the music may not be something you are that familiar with or that excited about uh, but he is uh, currently held up with some appointment uh, that he has to be up early in the morning for so he won't be here with us this week but we will still send the pump it up vibes regardless and uh, we send our regards to td77 for always being the amazing reliable you know monkey dj that we can always count on monkey games monkey munch all right this is something that we you know constantly just you know leave it there for folks to know that you know the monkey games is uh the, the monkey munch especially is uh, available if you guys are interested please uh you know play with it using the octo app uh for more information the link is also included uh gig comment i appreciate that comment i got a new keyboard uh, i can well, I'm not sure about the keyboard actually, but I'm glad to hear that the mic is working well. <laughs> All right. So, yes, uh, seems like Satoshi is uh, a little bit faster than us all to pick that up. Uh, but no worries. Uh, we will be mentioning that as well. Uh, Monkeys on Twitter. This is the favorite section of our, you know, newsletter every week. If you guys are interested to find out more about the latest community posts around the latest, uh, you know, meetups uh, or content that is being put out on Twitter uh, regarding our fellow monkeys, uh, this is the go-to section. And big shout out to Boana once again for aggregating all these posts. Uh, there are more new monkeys joining us, uh, always super exciting. And we have existing monkeys flexing their OG monkeys. And most importantly, it seems like, uh, you know, there's also the um, sort of, I want to say, like the Genesis story of the Monkey Dao logo that you see today. It's been incredible uh, that, you know, we at Monkey Dao used to be operating out of a simple banana logo. And now we have our very own uh, Monkey Dao logo. I'm not sure if you guys see this, uh, this Z dot Monkey Dao, this command, this little face as well. Uh, there is some, you know, story behind on how it came to what it is and a uh, big shout out to dr pp as well for flagging that out all right so that is the uh, monkey twitter content that we have for this week i hope you guys are excited if you are wondering what exactly i am talking about uh please definitely refer to the latest newsletter where you can also access it via the announcement channel. Let me just link it here and uh, feel free to download it. You know, as we go along, uh, there should be also, uh, there should also be a way for you to be notified of every new edition and whatnot. All right, so this is the newsletter that we have for this week. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, we want to quickly also take some time. I'm not sure if Nano is available to join us. Uh, Nano, if you are, uh, just let me know. Uh, but, you know, maybe it's a good time for us to flag out the live uh, votes that our fellow monkeys can go and uh, vote on. Uh, again, shout out to our fellow monkeys for, you know, putting them up, you know, giving ideas and whatnot, and Nano for helping to coordinate. Uh, Nano, I see that you have unmuted yeah. yourself already. Hello, so Jamie, whenever you're ready, GM. Okay, let's do it the votes we've got. Uh, yes. so we've got three votes currently live so please if you own a gen 2 or multiple please go to vote.monkeydow.io and you can vote for the current proposal so we've got three of them so the first one stake monkey Dow treasury soul 
So this one is to stake the majority of Monkeydale's soul. So that would be 90% of the large amount of soul we currently have, which is just over 35,000 soul. And we'd be staking that to Monkeydale's Solana Validator to generate roughly a 7% yield from our idle assets and increase the treasury holdings over time. Now that one has reached quorum, which is great, but please keep voting, make your voice heard. Uh, the second one is the banana stand barrel al barrel allocation. Um, just, this one's about distributing four to ten SMB barrels to Monkey Dow members each week uh, via the banana stand from now up until the end of 2024. So that would be two to five SMB barrels. Oops, uh, is this just me or is Nano's mic, uh, you know, actually cutting out for a little bit? Let's rebuild. see. The rebuild of okay. the official SMB marketplace. Right. And that one is about building a new marketplace to recapture the nostalgia. <laughs> am, I, am I rugging? Can you hear me? Yeah, we Cut hear out. you now. No problem. Sorry. We just lost the last the one. Bit. Yes, rebuild the SMB marketplace. Uh, this would be using the old SMB marketplace as inspiration. It would have zero fees and would be controlled by Monkey Tao. So that one has 107 votes right now, so it still needs quite a few to reach quorum. So please get to voting. Thank you and sorry for the rug. All right. Thanks a lot, Nano. Really appreciate it. I hope you guys are excited about, you know, some of the votes that are live. Uh, I think Nano is uh, definitely being very humble on uh, his level of excitement because uh, the things that he's doing and, you know, the level of excitement that we're seeing from him is definitely something different from what he's conveying. All right. So thanks a lot, Nano. A uh, big shout out once again for helping to make that, uh, you know, or, or rather helping to organize, you know, a lot of this. Yep, I believe the mic should be good now. I want to assure you that I am not using Norm's mic, although Norm has very kindly offered me his mic. Uh, so I believe my mic should be a little bit better than uh, Nano's one. Uh, Nano likes sharing mic uh, for some reasons. Uh, but, you know, let's not get distracted. Uh, trying to get back to the list of uh, gender items that we have for this week again. Uh, I want to very quickly uh, mention about... <laughs> Kelsey, uh, that was uh, very close to getting you a timeout. <laughs> and I can assure you that Simon is on his keyboard, so please be very careful with what you send today. All right. Um, I want to very quickly mention uh, about this committee grant. Uh, I think a, a couple of uh, months or weeks ago, or rather um, in the proposal channel as well, there was a lot of chatters around, hey, this monkey meetup grant program, uh, how we can actually, you know, actively activate it and we didn't mention that we want to sort of roll out uh, in a stage by stage and phase by phase basis. And part of the program also spells out for five specific cities to be activated. Uh, and that is also, you know, decided based on like the concentration of membership. Uh, just a quick reminder, those cities are SF, uh, San Fran, uh, that's LA, uh, that's New York. Uh, there's Europe in general as a, you know, as, as an entire region, uh, that's also like Singapore. So as we are approaching the festive seasons really soon and, uh, you know, going towards the end of 2023, uh, we want to encourage uh, folks to consider potentially organizing like a year end party for folks to come together. Uh, but also at this same time, want to quickly, you know, remind you that there is this, you know, monkey committee meetup grant program that we can all leverage on. The grant specifically provides for around a 25 USD reimbursement for each, in, uh, each uh, you know, verified committee member to come together. Uh, of course, you know, this is by no means a way for you to host, like, you know, luxury parties and whatnot. But it is one of the, you know, different ways that we're experimenting to try to encourage our members to come together and foster that sense of belonging, the community spirit and whatnot. Uh, so, you know, if you guys are looking to organize something towards the year end um, and leverage on that festive season, uh, know that there's this grant program that you can tap on. All right. 
And for the different ways that you can go about activating it, if you belong to any of the five cities uh, where you are looking to organize any of these activities, there are the different point of contacts that you can refer to. Uh, each city per se uh, is somewhat allocated like a form of budget or like a guideline which they can operate within. And if you guys are wondering whether if what you are thinking about could be eligible, please uh, feel free to reach out to the different POCs directly. Uh, for instance, you know, Europe, it would be Stroll. Uh, our amazing Stroll uh, is helping to run that program in uh, across Europe. Uh, so if you're looking to, example, host a party in like, you know, Paris or um, any of the, you know, cities across Europe, uh, and you're not sure if this is eligible, just reach out to uh, Stroll and let him know the details and feel free to check in with him. And um, whether if, uh, you know, you can actually, you know, maybe um, have the grant program tapped on uh, and whenever you actually finish organizing that, you can also send the details to him and we can help to have you uh, reimburse uh, alongside our fellow committee members, uh, you know, for your time to get together and whatnot. And hopefully this encourages more folks to get together. All right. Uh, and as for, you know, individuals uh, who are from other cities who may not exactly fall into the five cities uh, at this moment, uh, there are also some conversations around potentially, you know, allocating like a small budget to allow, you know, folks from, you know, what we would currently categorize as others at the moment uh, to still be able to tap on that. Uh, so feel free to reach out. Uh, you can... Uh, at this current juncture, you can reach out to either myself or, you know, any of the exec, then we can point you towards the right uh, individual to get more information uh, on whether if uh, that is something that is eligible or how you can go about organizing that. All right. Uh, and just a last note around this community meetup grant program. Uh, this meetup grant program is specifically designed to help us encourage folks to come together, uh, especially, you know, on the uh, non-conference period. Uh, as and so so for for you know periods like breakpoint events, larger conferences like breakpoints, etc. Uh, Monkey DAO typically would already uh, organize you know certain events uh, around it, like the recent um, Monkey Music slash uh, Monkey DAO event, uh, so called uh, Monkey Point. Uh, that was a big uh, hit for especially for a lot of the folks who were at Breakpoint. Uh, such events are uh, put together to bring together, uh, sorry, to, to bring our membership to come together um, during these conferences itself. So for larger conferences, uh, these meetup grant program would not be something that we are looking to uh, extend the coverage on. Uh, the grant program specifically is more designed uh, in such a way whereby for people periods that are considered idle periods where there may not be any, you know, larger events that bring people together, uh, there's at least this grant program that individuals can leverage on. So it has a slightly different intention of that, uh, or rather the, the, the goal that we aim to achieve as compared to, you know, what we typically throw, uh, the, the, the parties that we typically throw, especially around larger conferences. So I uh, just want to sort of like quickly mention that and hope everybody understands that as well. Uh, but as usual, if you need more information, feel free to reach out and we will be more than happy to help clarify on them. All right. Uh, so enough of me talking. I hope you guys are excited. I know year end is approaching, but uh, always be safe, you know, when you are having fun. Uh, and just remember that you have the monkey family always available to party with you and share the good vibes with you as you are journeying towards the end of 2023. All right, so enough of me talking for now. Uh, let's bring up Unjust Mouse to talk about this uh, pretty exciting topic as well. Uh, one that he has been uh, hyping up a little bit uh, internally. So Unjust Mouse, I don't want to spill anything. Whenever you're ready, feel free to unmute yourself and uh, share with the community more information around that. All right, hello, hello. Hi laptop microphone okay yeah yeah we can hear you uh although it sounds a little bit soft but you should be good all right i'll talk louder anyways uh gm gm uh nice to see chat here everyone uh thanks yeah my laptop mic is i guess doing okay anyways um so yeah we've been kind of uh hitting the the drawing board on the on the backside distro especially uh sadly he couldn't make it this evening uh irl uh, things that he had to do, but pretty. <laughs> thanks, Aid. 
Um, anyways, the plan uh, is that we released a bunch of new things inside the banana shop. Uh, a lot of these are kind of to test out and have some fun, uh, see what people like and don't like. Uh, if you don't like it, you know, make sure to go to uh, the thread in Monkey Dow for the banana stand, share your thoughts and opinions. Uh, of course, we're always willing to try anything else new and fun, but we thought it would be uh, some of these might be a little bit interesting. Obviously, the big one that's in there is the Tensorians. Uh, people were chatting about a lot. Uh, I know uh, Alien is like going crazy with his bananas, thinking about how he can get all of the Tensorians for himself. So uh, the deal with the Tensorians right now is that pretty much uh, a long time ago, right? I guess it would be now about a month or so, maybe two, that we did. Uh, the original raffles for Tensorians, and obviously their floor price has gone up quite a bit. So the idea there was that we wanted to figure out a way to be able to get some soul to start to generate and give ideally to charity since it's getting on the holiday season. Uh, so the idea there is that the soul that is going to be used uh, for the ones that are not free is not going to go into the treasury. It's actually going to go towards uh, something that English has been working on. Uh, we're kind of finalizing which charity we want to give it to for this season. But pretty much you'll see there's three different things in there. We still have a lot of Tensorians left, so don't worry if you don't get it today. Uh, we're going to be you know, testing these out, different values, that kind of thing as well. Uh, you'll notice that uh, one of them is free, and it costs uh, $69.42. Uh, at the time that we put them in, their uh, base price was about 18 sol. So we figured that was kind of a good general number based off of the previous uh, number that we had uh, in the shop. Uh, at that time, they were only worth about $300. Uh, now, with going up to 18 sol, they have obviously gone way higher than that. Um, so the idea there is that the one is free, it costs a lot, and then we did half price, which means that you owe half the soul, uh, which would be a uh, 50% discount, which means that you're paying a total of nine soul uh, up front, and then you're paying in bananas. And then the final one is a 25% discount, uh, means that you're going to pay 13.5 soul, and you get to spend 1,725 bananas. So the idea there is that we're trying to put some of this uh, soul aside for charity, uh, we're going to keep on changing the amounts uh, throughout uh, this next month. Uh, maybe it'll be less bananas. Maybe it'll be, you know, uh, less soul as well. Uh, and so those are kind of the first things. And then from there, you'll see a bunch of other fun stuff. Obviously, there's mystery packs in there. Uh, if anyone came to Breakpoint, they know that Ben Bottle gave out mystery packs. Um, and so we are just giving those up for straight bananas. But the only thing is that you have to pay to ship it to yourself. Uh, and that is strictly because uh, Stroll will be holding all these in his house right now. Uh, so he, you know, will be shipping them directly to you from his house. And he's going to uh, have some costs when it comes to that. So uh, they aren't too expensive either. Uh, they're only 690 And if anyone came to Breakpoint inside, there's a bunch of surprise items. Uh, some have T-shirts, some have flasks, some have patches and stickers, uh, shoelaces, some other stuff. That's kind of a mystery to me as well, because actually I didn't even get to have one during Breakpoint. Uh, but nonetheless, that one's up. Uh, the next one that's there is the Banana King for November. Uh, this is just an idea. We thought it would be fun. Uh, if Again, if you have feedback, please give it. Uh, and the idea there is that uh, you will get a special role in a special chat for the duration of uh, this next um, month, I believe, is what we kind of went with. Uh, where you're going to be able to hang out with other people that get that role, uh, have your own special permissions for that month. You're going to get your own color and emojis. And uh, we're pretty much going to be trying to, you know, uh, do fun, something fun, uh, quote unquote fun, <laughs> inside the Discord that's English. Uh, and then finally, uh, the last one is the Town Hall DJ raffle. Uh, the idea here is that uh, we always have music that's going on. But uh, maybe monkeys want to participate in that by either picking out the song that's going to be the first one heard uh, right before we start or the last one heard right as we exit. Uh, and this is just going to be a fun raffle. Uh, again, the monkey cost is super, super low. So, you know, all you uh, the banana cost, sorry, is super, super low. And uh, if you win, you'll be able to pick out songs. We think that we're going to if this works out well, you know, we'll want to continue it. Uh, it's an easy way to get some music that maybe you want to play. Uh, getting going in the town hall. Uh, those are all the major ones for now. Uh, and I guess there's just a basic Tensorian raffle, uh, which is what we've done before. Uh, you know, buy a raffle ticket and you can get a Tensorian uh, for free.
So uh, those are all the banana stand. Again, we're always looking for more things to do with that. Uh, if you have thoughts, ideas, things you hate, things you love, uh, make sure to post them in the banana stand chat so that we can, you know, help to add more things in there. Obviously, the community on this is super important, and that's the only reason why we want to have bananas anyways, is to promote our own community. So uh, that's it for the banana stand. And then the other thing that I was told that I need to talk about real quick is the barrel burning, uh, which is another topic that uh, we've been thinking about and figuring out how we want to make this celebration happen. Um, the idea here is that uh, we know we want to do it very soon, ideally. Uh, we were talking about hopefully by the end of the month. Uh, we want to kind of do an event with it, though. Uh, we want to have some fun. Uh, so we're still trying to figure out a fun way to do that. If anyone has any ideas, uh, please, you know, send messages to us and see uh, if we can go forward with it. We want to probably do a little bit of marketing with it and, uh, you know, sit back, relax and uh, watch, uh, you know, a few transactions happen and then celebrate with, uh, you know, some sort of beverage. Uh, but yeah, so that's, I guess, all my updates. Uh, I think that's it for now. So thanks, Jimmy. All right. Thanks a lot. And just mouse really appreciate it. Uh, and I think, you know, if you forget everything or oh, that was a lot for you to digest, I guess the key message here is go to banana stand and spend your banana uh, and go to the, well, this next one is actually related to uh, what we're going to mention as well as part of this uh, summary, which is go to monkey store and spend your USDC. Now, uh, aside from all these exciting updates that uh, just mouse has shared with us on the banana stand, there is also the uh let me see this is the merch that has actually went live uh i'm going to very quickly try to get hold of the link right now uh this is the shop.monkeydown.io uh i believe the varsity jacket is actually up right now and you are able to put in your orders until the first of december right so here's the link um feel free to go check it out and this varsity jacket you know is very popular you know uh, for the limited test round and especially you know after some of the folks have seen it uh, a lot of people are asking hey how can i get a hold of this and whatnot <laughs> Yes, uh, please use a burner to interact. Uh, but, you know, jokes aside, uh, this is now another opportunity, a window of opportunity for you to get hold of it. Um, if you are interested or, you know, you are looking for a new varsity jacket to replace your current one, uh, this would probably be one of the um, most uh, beefy thing, you know, outfit or merch that you want to have. It will feature a very nice yes thank you sam that is amazing it will feature your preferred smb uh and it has a very nice monkey dao logo behind it as well wow that is an amazing model i must say that picture looks very very well taken so if you are wondering what exactly we are talking about please go to town hall tech chat thread or ping our amazing monkey music monkey uh sam to get hold of uh an image uh, that you can refer to all right so if you are wondering what exactly uh, we've been talking about, uh, especially on this latest point, uh, the main message is really about go to, going to banana stand, uh, spend your bananas, go to monkey store and uh, shop for your favorite merch. Uh, so we are, as part of this uh, initiative, also trying out a lot of a uh, few new things and welcoming feedback you know, from communities, especially around banana stand. Uh, I think the tensorians method that uh, Just Mouse has highlighted as well is also one of the ways that we're thinking about, hey, how can we also potentially, uh, you know, look at a model whereby, you know, members can have different benefits uh, where it extends towards a certain discount and maybe not only limited to like free item giveaway. But, you know, if there are items that, you know, cost a certain amount, you know, is there a way where we can help to uh, sort of make things a little bit more exciting or, of, uh, you know, instead of just buying for it straight up for a certain amount, uh, certain folks can also participate in, you know, the banana stand to get some form of vouchers, discount as a perk, as a holder perk and whatnot. So that is definitely something new that we are experimenting. Uh, feel free to provide us with your feedback, uh, especially after interacting. And I know uh, some of our monkeys also mentioned in the Town Hall text chat already that you have already started, uh, you know, trying to interact with the Tensorin's Redemption, but unfortunately are not able to do so. 
Um, Nano uh, specifically has uh, tried it out himself as well, and uh, apparently there may be some limitations at the moment. So uh, no worries at all. We will be speaking with uh, our partner to have that figured it out. All right. So hope you guys are excited. Uh, go to the banana stand and see what you are you know looking to redeem uh, if you have not already done so. Alright, so very quickly, just want to mention as well, this is the uh, some of the Solana meetups uh, that is also created in the Discord. I'm just going to drop the link here. Uh, there's a Solana Toronto meetup. Uh, this is actually happening, oh, uh, it says today at uh, 8 a.m. Uh, so I believe that is like... Uh, I want to say tonight for our friends in the US. Uh, so if you are living in Toronto and you're wondering on how you can, you know, get involved, etc., for the monthly meetup edition, I, I believe this should be the case of November, especially. Uh, Simon has uh, created that uh, event. So if you are interested, there are event uh, information is all embedded in the event tab uh, specifically to this. Uh, feel free to go and find out more on how you can participate or uh, reach out to Simon specifically as well and I'm sure he'll be more than happy to help bring you through any information. All right, there's also another event on, I believe uh, this is Wednesday, December 6th, um, Solana Night in Van City at Mohanis. Oh, okay, so this is uh, Vancouver. So if you guys are interested and you are living in Vancouver, there's the event happening. Uh, there's a night of fun, networking, and of course, all things Solana planned for you. So go ahead and make your, uh, sorry, uh, go ahead and make your monkey presence known. And similarly, this is also created by Super Simon. If you are interested, please. Uh, reach out and then he can help provide you with more information as well. All right. So those two are the meetups that are available at the moment. Uh, feel free to uh, tap on it and join it and hang out with our fellow monkeys. All right. Um, and I want to quickly also mention that, uh, you know, as much as our weekly uh, monkey town hall is to share the latest DAO updates, we also try to reserve, you know, a portion of the time for us to welcome new monkeys into the community. <laughs> Can you name 10 books during Town Hall? Uh, that was a Flocks meme for sure that I remember. All right. <laughs> uh, actually, I believe Flocks is probably still around. He's probably just using a different account and name. Uh, he did put out a post today, and I'm sure some of us have seen it as well. Uh, so, you know, shout out to that uh, amazing community member who's uh, definitely very interesting. All right. Um, Yes, so we do have a lot of uh, new monkeys in the community, and I think I may have seen two specific monkeys earlier already as well. Um, there is THFIEE, Tifi, as well as Mu, the DeFi DGen. If there are more new monkeys uh, in the town hall or on the town hall with us this week, uh, please tag myself and let me know. Uh, and we would love to invite you up towards the tail end of today's town hall. Uh, but before we do that, we're just going to bring up Norm as well to share with us a message uh, that he wanted to uh, actually elaborate a little bit on. This is also a follow-up on some of the events that took place. Uh, so Norm, uh, GM, I hope uh, you are having a good start to your Friday at least. Uh, and whenever you're ready, feel free to unmute yourself and take over the stage. GM or GN, everybody. Um, thank you, Jemmy. appreciate you running Town Hall today. And... Uh, it's been fantastic to be at the Hong Kong Hacker House, seeing a variety of different monkeys, running a couple of different events, uh, and getting to see everybody present for the last Hacker House of the year. Uh, so usually I'm able to come talk about new or exciting things inside of MonkeyDAO, uh, talking about our planned strategies or our projects going forward. Um, today I'm commenting on something that was brought forward to the executive over the course of the past few weeks. So three weeks ago, um, some community members brought forward concerns to Monkey Dow's legal counsel, Ariel Givner, about various activities of members of the executive, uh, concerns around the structural setup of Monkey Dow and ensuring that the executive were acting in the best interests of Monkey Dow and its membership. Um, we've worked through a lot of those concerns and made progress since. Um, and today, after both an internal review and an outside independent audit, we received some written legal notice requesting the executive team to take action in various areas. With these recommendations, they also came with suggestions of legal action that might be taking place 
against the executive team unless more changes are made. With the options presented, um, I view it's the best to pause some current activities while I'm seeking further legal counsel to have a clear understanding of what is at stake with the issues that have been presented. And each of the executive will be able to proceed how they see fit. At this time, I can't disclose more information about it. I appreciate the community to respect that decision. We're going to be continuing to share more information going forward once we have more details. I appreciate you guys taking the time today. Uh, I'm just wanting to inform the community of everything as this continues to be ongoing. That's all I have for right now. All right. Thanks a lot, Norm. Really appreciate it. Uh, you know, as much as we love to share happy updates, uh, but this is uh, part and parcel of the uh, journey, I guess. There's always, uh, you know, some things to manage as well. So, you know, uh, thanks a lot, Norm, for coming up to share with us on that. Uh, and let's transit to <laughs> uh, Flo. I believe you've been uh, flagged out for that emoji. <laughs> All right. So let's transit to welcome our new monkeys into the community. Uh, let's see if uh, we have uh, more new monkeys. I know we seen uh, Moo the DeFi DGen who said that this was his very first town hall and TH uh, Fee as well who just joined us uh, with a nice little green tag there on the November 11. Uh, so if you are a new monkey and you just join us uh, over the recent weeks, we would more love to meet you and welcome you. If uh, you are in the town hall on the town hall right now, please tag myself or tag any of the execs and we would be more than happy to bring you up. And in the meantime, I am going to bring up uh, THV. Uh, if you are available, feel, feel free to come up here to, and give us an intro of yourself. Uh, you are also more than uh, welcome to share your Twitter handle for our folks to give you a an amazing follow as well so that you can be roped into the you know monkey family on twitter as well uh move the defy DGen as well i'm gonna try and see if i can bring you up all right uh let's see all right thv i just uh, brought you up hello can everyone hear me all right gm we can hear you yeah hey, hey, gm gm guys hello uh my name's thiefy uh i got my name through a hacker don't worry about it uh <laughs> I've been in the space since 2021. I'm a C Sharp developer, still in university though. And yeah, it's great to be here. Been eyeing on some SMB Gen 2 for some time. I've never been able to afford it, but SMG, uh, SMB Gen 3 is always a good start. So yeah, I'm just glad to be here. Hello, everyone. Yeah, nice to meet you. All right, welcome to the family once again, and we hope you are, you know, really excited uh, to be part of us. Uh, and we're definitely very happy to have you here. Feel free to let us know if you can be helpful in any way. Uh, and yeah, we look forward to hang out with you. And Thanks. actually, uh, speaking of which, uh, you know, we actually have this uh, seven days rule uh, where if your green tag is or where you are actually a member of Monkey Dog for more than seven days or uh, seven days or so you can actually have your green tag removed so since uh this is technically 18 november for me uh, i would probably refer to your drawing date as uh you know seven day or now so i would like to invite everyone to come and join me to unveil or rather remove the green tag of uh, of a thv and uh, welcome him to the OG monkeys group, the the senior monkey group now, just like uh, a lot of our amazing monkeys in the room. So without further delay, your green tag is now removed. Welcome to the other side. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. All right. And I see that we have also successfully brought up uh, Moo the DeFi DGen. Uh, Moo the DeFi DGen, welcome to the monkey dolls town hall uh, very excited to hear that this is your very first town hall so feel free to share with us a little bit more information at, uh, of yourself uh, a quick intro if you would like uh, and we'd be more than happy to give you a quick follow on twitter as well so gm whenever you're ready feel free to take over the stage yeah uh, thank you uh very much for having me um let's say i went to breakpoint in lisbon um a year back uh my twitter handle actually comes from my cat's name so uh, typical cat in uh crypto and um yeah just happy to be here thanks for having me 
All right, welcome to the family. So exciting to hear that you know he was actually adopted from your cat. Uh, that is one amazing way to honor your pet, regardless. All right, welcome to the family. Feel free to let us know. You know, similarly, if we can be helpful in any way. <laughs> Uh, I'm guessing the cat's name is Mu, probably. Uh, I'm not sure about the D5 D gen. There's uh, too many syllables for, uh, you know, the cat to probably be comfortable with. <laughs> All right. Um, welcome once again. And uh, I appreciate the uh, happy birthday wishes and uh, the OG <laughs> wishes as well. Um, just looking through the list of town hall attendees to see if we may have any more new monkeys in the room. Uh, let's see. If you are a new monkey, uh, feel free to thank me. I'm gonna, you know, wait out for a little bit more um, before we send any, you know, amazing pump it up vibes and uh, you know release everyone for the amazing weekends. And I'm sure a lot of our folks are excited. And as usual, I want to quickly mention as well um, the year end probably is approaching and if you are looking to organize any monkey meetup uh, the meetup grant program is available for you to tap on uh, that's one of the many ways that you can uh, help to sort of strengthen the monkey bond and the monkey identity and network uh, you know across uh, the entire monkey dog collective um, and that is uh, as long as you are a member, a verified member, regardless of what sort of entities that you hold, uh, we gladly welcome you uh, across all these uh, IRL events. <laughs> I appreciate the well wishes. All right, last shout out for any amazing new monkeys uh, who want to come out and say hi. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to ask Norm to uh, hold up the town hall for a little bit while I disappear into the uh, the chill chat to bring up the sound board, the, the DJ board, and then uh, we will send the pump it up vibe. So Norm, if you can uh, you know, mention something exciting, um and then uh, i will bring the dj bot back alive in just about a few seconds i'll be back yeah um for everyone who is currently a DeFi enjoyer um so you've probably heard about a bunch of updates around monkey DAO's validator and everything going on for it um we have just been getting the geo client live on monkey DAO's validator uh, which means that if you are staking to it uh, in the course of the next six hours you should start to begin earning some sweet sweet geo points for everybody who might be interested in those uh, for whatever points end up being in the very near future uh, so looking forward to getting that live once g is finished with it today All right, sorry guys, uh, have a great weekend. Apologies, this is not the best for you. Thank you all for joining us this week. Have an amazing week. Don't you know, pump it up, you've got to pump it up, up, up.